In this question, we're asked to form a right circular cylinder using this rectangle here, which measures six centimeters by eight centimeters. Then we're asked to determine the volume of the right circular cylinder. So notice how if we roll up this rectangle and form this right circular cylinder, this side that measures six centimeters is going to be the height of the right circular cylinder. So we know the height equals six centimeters. Next, notice how this side of the rectangle, which measures eight centimeters, would actually be the distance around the circle or the circumference of this circle. The volume of a right circular cylinder is equal to pi r squared h, where r is the radius and h is the height. So in order to find the volume of this right circular cylinder, we need to find the radius r. To do this, we'll be using the circumference formula for a circle, where the circumference of a circle c is equal to two pi r, if we want pi times d, where r is the radius and d is the diameter, but because the volume formula involves r, not d, we'll just use the formula c equals two pi r. And again, we know the circumference of the circle must be the same as the length of this side of the rectangle, and therefore two pi r must equal eight centimeters. And now to solve for r, we would divide both sides by two pi, Simplifying, we have r equals eight divided by two is equal to four, so the radius r is equal to four divided by pi. So now we know the radius r is equal to four divided by pi centimeters. We can determine the volume of the right circular cylinder. The volume v is equal to pi times r squared, so we'd have times four divided by pi squared times the height of six. Let's go ahead and square four over pi. So the volume V is equal to pi times four over pi squared would be 16 over pi squared times six. Now notice this pi is a fraction would be pi over one. So we have a common factor of pi here. So one factor of pi is going to simplify out. So this pi simplifies to one. Pi squared simplifies to pi to the first. And now multiplying, the volume V is going to be equal to, this six is six over one. So the numerator is 16 times six, which is 96. The denominator is just pi. So the volume is exactly 96 divided by pi, and the units would be cubic centimeters. Now let's also get a decimal approximation for the volume. To do this, we'd have to find the quotient. So using the calculator, we'd have 96, divided by pi, which to two decimal places would be approximately 30.56. So the volume is approximately 30.56 cubic centimeters. I hope you found this helpful.